Hi YouTubers, today we're going to be showing you how to make a, what I like to call, bottle bobber. Um, what you need is a knife, a water bottle, soda bottle, bottle or some kind of bottle, uh, weights and hooks, and fishing line. Take out your knife, or if you need a knife, you want to peel off the brand name on your bottle. Wow, I'm bad at this. As good as you can. Then take your fishing line, take out however much line you want. I'm going to do it right there. Take out your knife, and just cut the line. Fire line to the cap right under where it stops. So tie it. You want to take it, make a regular loop, but you want to put it under, and you just want to keep wrapping it under. Make a fisherman's knot. Six seven or eight times. Where should we go? Then you want to tighten it. Now on the bottle it won't close all the way. That just helps keep it closed. And you want to do a double knot. You just not one, and not again. Just make an unstoppable knot. And clip off the extra line if you want to. It just drives me crazy. So now you have your bottle, it's all your line, you guys can see it. So then you want to take a hook and a weight that are decent size. You might want to use a treble hook. That's what I recommend. Uh, I'm going to use a small weight this size. I like to use the ones with the ring on the top because it just makes it so much easier. Uh, I'm going to use a decent sized treble hook. Depends on really what you're trying to catch. Uh, I'm going to just use this one. I don't know what I'm planning on catching with it, but you know, I guess we'll find out. Then you want to tie your hook on first. For that, you do the fishes hook. The fisherman's knot. Like I showed you. Okay. Coming. 
be tightened. Keep tightening it. It'll take. Might take a while, but you know, you'll get there. Your knot is your weakest point, so that's why you want to make it real tight and sturdy. Then you want to put on your weight at the end. Put the line through. Do a fisherman's knot. Now my weight is fairly close to my hook. That's because treble hooks usually go down for bottom feeders. Uh, so, you know, it might get covered in bushes, weeds, you don't know, maybe sticks or something. But, you know. Take your knife, cut off the extra string if you want to. Like I said, just, just do it because I don't like it. And there you go. There you have it. Bottle of wine. Um, that's just the hooking part. That's uh, if you're in a small creek or something where it's controlled and you can take a hook and you can take a stick with a hook at the end and hook the line and bring it in. If not, you're out somewhere on a boat or something. You can take more string. Tie it up to this part of the bottle cap. What I like to do so it doesn't get tangled, I just keep, keep the top so that way I can take the top off, take the weight, put this part in, and sink down the hook. Hold on. Sink down the hook. Push in the rest of the line, and that part's over with. And once you want to take it out, you just pour it out. Uh, gotta finish putting in this line. Sorry, I guess it fell like that, so it's in. Uh, if you want to take your string and if you're going on a boat or something out in the lake, you want to take your string and tie it to the cap right here. However much line you're going to have out there to where you can throw it. Take however much line you need. Say about. What you want to do is make sure it's not just all jumbled out and tangled and you want to hold it. You want to wrap it around this top part right here. You want to make sure it stays tight straight line so that way it doesn't get all crossed over and 
huge tangle. So the end of the line stays, you want to take it, open up your cap, uh, put it right here, cross it over, uh, twist, hear that clicking sound, that's just the string, if you have strong enough string, it won't break, nicely wrapped, right there. Um, if you're going for a stronger fish, you can tie two bottles together, duct tape them, I don't know, duct tape always works. And it pulls under, then it pulls under, but, you know. Anyways, that's how to do it. Uh, have fun.